Water crisis has gained international attention as civil rights organizations have demanded unfair shutoffs come to an end. Well, now the mayor is joining with the business community to repair the problem and the city's image. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat is live downtown. Simon, a big step considering the mayor just took control over the water department recently. Exactly. You know what, Joanne? Lots of changes in store, like flyers like these going out to Detroiters with outstanding water bills. It gives them more options and also tells them exactly when the water will be shut off if they choose not to pay. Between now and August 25th, if you come forward, uh, we will waive any turnout fees and we'll waive the late fees. We give you a chance to know it's coming. Go in and make your payment arrangements. Don't wait for us to shut it off. Uh, you can avoid it. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan calls it a solution to a water crisis. A 10 point plan, basically putting a stop to thousands of water shutoffs and angry Detroiters outraged over a broken system. The mayor says he's heard all the stories. I was on the phone for an hour and a half. I waited in line around the building in the heat. When I got there, they weren't really sure what to do. It was a lot of aggravation. Aggravation still heard just this morning. Water is a necessity. I feel for those people, I really do. Under a new plan, turn on fees and late payment penalties waived. Red tape will be cut. Extended hours at DWSD customer care centers. Increased staffing at the call center and extended hours. A Kobo water fair, August 23rd. Improvement notification for customers in danger of shutoff. Affordable payment plans, financial assistance, neighborhood partnerships, and a clear way to give. As for those who simply refuse to pay at all, you know, the abundance of water we have in this city, a lot of it should be free. Well, shutoffs will begin again after the moratorium expires August 25th. When somebody says water should be free, I don't know how to filter water and pipe it from the river to somebody's house at no cost. Part of this deal also comes from adopting an already existing plan being used by DTE. If you are already in DTE's program for home heating assistance, the LSP program, you're automatically qualified for a water program. Large donations are expected from business leaders to help those in need. Credit also goes to the mayor's recently promoted chief of staff. We operate as a team, but uh, mostly it was Alexis Wiley's idea. Now we've put all the information that you need on our website. Just go to WXYZ.com. Live downtown, Simon Shea Cat, 7 Action News. Okay.